Okay, what's up guys? It's Little Code Ninja here. I am really excited to do some more Scratch tutorials. I'm super duper excited in fact, so let's get to it. Okay, so as you can see, Scratch is having a lot of trouble right now, so we can probably just go ahead and close Scratch. And if you followed our previous tutorial, then you should have Scratch Desktop right here downloaded and ready to go. And uh, remember, just click File, um, load from your computer, and go to the pro file, uh, you know, folder where you saved all of your projects. Okay, let's get to it. Today, I'm really excited to teach you guys about motion. Motion, as you can see here, is one of the code types. Now, we, we touched briefly on this, right? You can move characters and stuff, but I really want to explain it properly. But before we do that, let me explain something. If you go to events, then there is a when green flag click block. Click that and drag. That will tell the program whenever the green flag is clicked, we want to do code. That way we don't have to click motion every time. So here, whenever the green flag is clicked, we can move 10 steps. See, it moves 10 steps. Okay, let me show you the different types of motion. So remember I talked about X, Y's and directions in the other video of properties. So here, this when we move 10 steps, that's going to the right, so that's changing the X. Don't worry if you don't understand this kind of stuff. I'm just trying to explain it in case you want to know. But you don't have to know it to be good at code. So that's, that's one thing. Now you can see that we can turn our character 15. So now that will turn him forward. And we can, you can see this arrow is going the opposite way. So we can turn him backwards a few times. Now he's back to normal. If we put the go to block, the go to will make him go to a very specific spot. So here I want him to go to his position. So this go to block, boom, will just immediately shoot him over there. All right. Now you can also do some more fun things like go to random position. Every time you click that, he'll go somewhere unexpected. Now that we've so covered that, what if you want the, the, the cat, right? For example, to go right over here, right? If you want him to go there, so now we can tell him go there, right? And I'll put that away. So our cat's here and when this green flag is clicked, we want him to go to that spot. But what if you wanted him to glide there? Well, luckily for you, there is actually a glide function. So we can go over here and we can grab glide for one second. So the longer the seconds, then the slower they glide. Basically, the, you can set the amount of seconds. So we want it to glide to that spot. So now we can bring him back and we can set his X to zero and his Y to zero. Remember, that's where he starts. And we can put the glide block and see what's going to happen. Now you can see he doesn't just teleport there, he moves there. So it's very helpful when you want to glide to a lot of spots, right? So we can right click and click duplicate. And now we can move him over here, right? Now if we move him over there, we can put that there. And then we can move him over here, right? And we can put another glide. And then over here, right? And we can put another glide like that. And then effectively, that will keep on going every time we click the green flag. Here he's going, he's, see he's moving in a rectangle. Every time we click the green flag, he makes a nice big rectangle. So yeah. So yeah, you can see there that if I just used go to's, he would have went just teleported. What if I want him now to go slower? Then I can click this one over here. And I can type how slow I want him to be. Maybe I want him to be three seconds for the first one, right? Now he'll go really slow and then he'll go fast like we because we didn't change for the other ones. Now I want this one to go super duper fast. So I'm going to make it go like super. It should go there in half a second. Ready? He'll go really slow on the first glide and then boom, he'll just dart over there. And now over here, I want this value to be a hundred. Let's see what happens then. 
So this one is really slow. This one is super fast. This one is just normal gliding speed. And this one is incredibly slow. Ready? Let's watch. All right, he goes there. Boom. Look how slow he is. That's the glide 100 seconds. He is so slow. I want him to stop. But how do I make a character stop? Behold the stop sign. Click this and he will immediately stop. Okay, I want this to be super duper fast now. Like insanely fast. Ready? Ready? So it's going to glide up there really slow. And then boom, boom, boom. Wow, that was the fastest one yet. So that is the glide. Instead of just booting, butting them over there, it actually, you know, moves it properly. I'm not going to go into these very much, though. That's not very important. Okay. And that's motion. Okay. Now what I want to do is how about we have some fun, all right? So every time we click the green flag, okay, whenever the green flag is clicked, then we want to move our character 10 steps, turn him, and let's make him turn 30 degrees. Remember, click the text box and make him turn. And then we actually want him to move 20 steps. There we go, nice big steps. And then we, wa we want him to, uh, to go to this, this spot right here. We want him to go over there. We want him to turn and then go over there. And then we want him to, uh, to glide, to glide to any spot at all. It, it's up to him. Okay, now let's, let's see what this gives us. We're using everything we learned. Our moves, our turns, our go-tos, which is bring in there, and our glides. He's, oh my god, that was fast. That's really fast. Whoa, he's like just going around. As you can see, he's rotating. So he moves 20 steps, but it's just so crazy. Everything's happening at once. You can see though every time that he rotates. So now that we've done that, you can see that there is a pretty clear problem. First of all, with this little motion, everything's happening at the same time. Which is, and I don't want to click the green flag all the time. I want him to keep going once I click the green flag. So in the next video, we're going to talk about control blocks that will allow us to have a little more control about what happens and when. And we can tell it how many times. See you then.